<laughs> Why buy one when you can buy seven? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Beth. Thanks so much for dropping by. Today, I am going to show you all of the things that I got at that big estate sale. Now, the video where I took you shopping along inside the estate sale with me posted last week, and I will link that in the iCard above and in the description below for you. It was a massive house, and it was still packed on the very last day, the fifth day of a two-weekend estate sale, and it was 50% off. It was 50% off day, but they were also kind of bundling things. And it was so busy that I just didn't have the heart for them to keep doing an itemized receipt for me. So a lot of things weren't priced. Um, some of the things were priced, but they had found so many more boxes, wonderful goodies, especially Christmas, that they had kind of put out on the last day. And so a lot of the things were not marked. Now, I spent $50, and what I want you to do to help me is to see everything that I got, and let's see if you think $50 was a good price for everything that I got today. So uh, let's get on to the haul, y'all, and let me show you what I got at the epic estate sale. When we first walked in, you saw that I stopped at some Christmas ornaments, but y'all, let me be real clear. There was Christmas all over the place, um, and they were trying their best to give me a receipt as much as possible, um, but it just got to be really too busy. I think they started. They did at least start here, but you do see me digging through a little basket of the Christmas ornaments. Now, I got this little clear celluloid um, little box. I guess it's a vanity box or something, and she bundled all of these things up together and wrote $5 on it for the box and everything that was in it. So, uh, let's open it up and see now the ornaments were like a dollar each and it was 50 percent off day so that would have been 50 cents each let but let me show you the ones that i got because i really really like them this was one of the first ones that i picked up it's the little blue jean angel it still does have its made in japan tag but i thought she was absolutely darling now you can use these for tree ornaments but also package toppers are super cute or even like on a shelf at Christmas time. But I loved her little denim there. She's in great shape, so I picked that one up. I did also get the wooden mother goose. I thought that one was pretty cool. I love wooden ornaments, and she even has a little dress on, y'all. You see that? I am trying to collect a whole bunch of wooden ornaments to make one of the wreaths for Christmas. I got a little flocked deer. Now, he is too darling. This would be great for an assemblage. Does have a little bit of the missing flocking right there, but his eyes are in great shape, and no one will notice. I got another little angel ornament. Oh, doesn't have a mark on there. Um, actually, it does, but I cannot read that. No, nope, sure can't. I'll need to get the loop. But I love that the angel had the little lantern with that. That is so, so cute. And I think this is probably like a, I guess, plastic. It kind of feels plastic rubbery, but what a sweet face. So that's four. I also got this one. And somewhere else around here, I'm going to be looking for, oh, here it is. I did get this one as well. Now, these are marked R. Dakin and Company, 1984 is what that one is marked, R. Dakin Company. So, I don't know if they are pencil toppers. I really don't know, but I thought that they were super cute. So, I got a little elf as well as a little soldier, and they might be pencil toppers. Those are super cute. Um, I got two stained glass. This one looks like a little boy on a log that has a stick in his hand, and these are glass, not plastic. And it is marked on the back. Let me see if I can even read it. World Book Encyclopedia Made in the Philippines is what that sticker says right there. So I got this little boy. I don't know what his name would be or if he's after a character. So if you know, leave it in the comments. I also got this one. And this is just a candy cane. Again, as an assemblage. 
Then I got some beaded ornaments and it looks like they were ornaments and they turned them into magnets. I got the little candy canes. I got the wreath and I got the little cottage, but I like the little sequence and the bling in there. So I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ornaments. So that would have been about what y'all? Five dollars and fifty cents. Um, and then I got this box. So it's just got a little design on there. Um, and it's just a little clear box. I'm assuming that it was like a makeup, maybe tissues, makeup brushes. I'm not sure, but I like that. I thought about putting maybe like some pens and pencils because they're always falling off of this table. Maybe with my sticky notes, maybe my number cards, something like that. Um, but I really like this box. And if you know what it was for other than just a box, let me know in the comments below. But I got all of those ornaments and the box for $5. So not too bad. I mean, it's right at 50% off. Um, another ornament that I got was, it's called, I think it's Booty, B-O-O-T-I. I'll put it on the screen right here. It's Hilo Hawaii. Um, and it is a new old stock ornament. Now it's Hawaiian Christmas ornaments. And there is the name there, and it does say Hilo Hawaii, but I did pick up this little ornament. I like that she is an ornament that has a little bit of color. Some more Christmas ornaments because, y'all, there was a ton of Christmas, as you saw in the video, is I got three of these style ornaments. Now, this is a blue felt, if you can see that, and this is one of the pin art ornaments. Now, I only found three. I should have really gotten the one that was on the table that was in the box. I'm, when I was editing the video, I was like, I should have gotten that one um, because I could have made one, although they look a little difficult. And after crafting with Patrick and Tammy, um, these beaded ones are really, really hard. So I really liked this one. I got that one as well. Then I also picked up this red, and now this one has the satin um, threaded ornament. Now this is more like the one that was in the box. It was actually a green satin thread ornament, and I guess you put on the embellishments on there, but I picked this one up. This one actually needs to be pinned down a little bit. Go, quick fix, I got that ornament. And then I did pick up this ornament. Now I'm thinking maybe some of the beads are coming off. Yeah, the beads are coming off of this one. So I'm not really sure, but let me show you. I'll have to look at it differently later. It's got a, there's a few of the loose beads here and some of the pin, so I need to be careful. But you see it's got the gold pieces as well as the pearls. Um, the little filigree pieces is what I'm talking about right here, if you can see those. Um, but I want to make sure I keep this one in the bag, at least until I can cut the bag open and then replace them. But there were these three ornaments that I got. So, there was just a lot. Just a lot. Um, Christmas. I picked up a lot of Christmas, y'all, because that's what there was. And... I actually like a lot of Christmas. I got a set of salt and pepper shakers. Now these I believe are plastic and it says on the bottom Hallmark cards, but I don't have a date, so I'll have to look these up, but it is a Mr. and Mrs. Claus and they do have their stoppers. It is a very thick plastic uh, they are in great shape. Everything in this house was in wonderful shape. But these are super, super cute. And they're a good size. So these were marked $7. So they would have been $3.50. So right there, that's $8.50 plus whatever those were. I'll just have to decide if I think that it was... Um, really worth $50. That's what I want you to help me decide if you think $50 was a good price for everything. Now, also another thing that this lady had was a ton of Avon. You saw it. All the different designer bottles, all the regular perfume bottles, but she also had a lot of Avon catalog style things. She must have been a um, seller or a vendor of Avon. Now, this set was $4. It is an Avon 
set. It is marked Made in Brazil and it is marked Hand Painted. But I have never seen a salt and pepper like this. These are, there's your Avon and there's the little Hand Painted Made in Brazil. But it's a doll and a teddy bear that would go under a Christmas tree. And I thought beside a ceramic Christmas tree, these would be super cute. Like maybe on a small table. No chips or cracks in these whatsoever and they were marked $4.00. So they would have only been two. Now I'm gonna jump around a little bit just because of what is on my table. Um, I did pick up a tin. I don't know why y'all. I love tins. I don't know what it is with me and tins. Um, I do use them as risers a little bit. This one I picked up because it says Inesco made in Hong Kong. And this one is one of the Dear God um, series. And it says, Dear God, some teachers are just easy to love, especially ours. Thanks. And um, it's a little Valentine's Day 10. I'm not really sure of the date. I looked around the edge and I did not see one, but it is super clean inside. No dents or anything. But I'll have to look up the date of that. But it was manufactured in Hong Kong. Another tin, if you saw that, all those tables of tins, that I picked up was this Kissy Cucumber. And um, I started looking at the dates on them. This one is 1984. Um, and it's got little kittens all over it. And it's like a pail. So it's got a whole bunch of kittens. I thought those were super cute. Um, and I opened it up. Let's see if I can get it open. And inside are some little cards. Now, the first one that I saw, I went ahead and um, closed it. But the first one that I saw was this little horseshoe. And I thought that would be so darling in a uh, flower frog for St. Patrick's Day. These are Whitman cards. It is a Whitman card game. Now, all of the cards are not here. I just have a few. So I have the horseshoe. I have the four leaf clover. Oh, it's upside down. There you go. The four leaf clover. What else do I have? Here is a star and it's got the little pixies with them. Oh, here is another horseshoe. Is it got the same number or a different number? No, this is nine and 10. So these are nine and 10. Maybe there's only 10 cards, who knows? This is a 10. Um, here's a heart. Oh, y'all, these are darling for your tear trays throughout the seasons. That's a four. Here's an eight. Here's a one. Here's another eight. Oh, I love those. Here's a six. I'm guessing that they would have had to be in fours. Here's a five. And here's a three. And here's another star, and it is number 11. So in the stars, I got 1, 11, 5, and 6, and they were in the cards. I got 3, 8, and 10 in the little four-leaf clovers, and I think this and the horseshoes will be darling in a um, flower frog on a tiered tray or just throughout the house for St. Patrick's Day, and then two of the hearts. So that was inside that little tin. So that was a little bit of a surprise for me, but I went ahead and picked up the tin anyway without knowing that the cards were in there. Um, another item that you saw me pick up is, this is also made in Brazil, and uh, it just, I can't read what it says. It does say 1978. I do think that is in maybe... I don't know what the language of Brazil is. Is it Portuguese? Mm, I'll have to put it right here. Um, but this looks like one of the sachet or potpourri pigs. And how cute is that a pig with flowers on it for potpourri? Now it was marked $3, so that would have been $1.50. So I got that and I had a cow that had some florals on it and it sold very, very quickly. Um, I also got this wacky-eyed bunny. It's a little flocked bunny. 
Thought that was super cute for an assemblage. He's got great flocking. Nothing is really messed up, and his eyes are a little wonky. I love that about him. Um, another little small that I got. This must be an Avon bottle, but look at the top. Look at the top of that bottle, and then look at the kaleidoscope colors. Isn't that beautiful? Now, it would be perfect for Mardi Gras. Now, you know I'm going to smell this. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't smell. There's no smell, but that is a heavy metal top. But I thought this bottle was absolutely beautiful. I love the paperweight style on the top and then this kaleidoscope bottle. That is really pretty. Now, I did get some jewelry. I know. I know I have a lot of jewelry. I understand that. But I just got a brooch and two pins. So it really doesn't count, right? Um, I did get this brooch. It's just very dainty. It's got some filigree leaves and a little faux pearl there. It's probably an 80s, 90s brooch. I don't see a make or make marker on that. Um, I also got, because I know that several people, now this one has a bar um, roll over C clasp on it. And it is, I know some people like the insects. This is a green ladybug with a pearl. Now, I will probably keep this one at least for a little while. Ladybug is actually my spiritual symbol, just that physical symbol that we are all looking for. Um, but this is a green ladybug. Another little pin. It's a little squirrel with rhinestones on the tail, and he's got a little pearl for a maybe a nut or an acorn. Um, so this is the little pin. Here's the little pin and here is the back. There is a mark right here. I believe this says Avon on the back, which would make great sense since she appeared to be an Avon dealer. So I thought he was super cute. So that's all the jewelry that I got, I think. I'm not sure. All right, I'm moving through this very, very quickly because it's a lot and I didn't want the video to be too, too long. All right, the next thing that I got was, I, I really, really like, it's super cool. Um, it's a pair of candlesticks, but rarely do you find ones like this. So this is, I think that this is metal. I'm almost positive that this is metal. Um, and it has, it's that matte black with the orange and the green. Now, at first glance, they kind of look like pumpkins, um, but they're actually flowers. Now, these were marked $5 each, but that would have been $5 for the pair. I got them on 50% off day, but I really, really like these with some orange candles. These super pretty for the fall. So I did pick these up. Those were a really, that's one of my favorite things so far. Other than the little cards, I love the little cards. Um, I almost missed this. And in the video, you, you hear me say, oh my gosh, I totally almost missed this. And it is a vintage Halloween bucket. Now, I have never really found one that was vintage, um, but I then looked on here and now I know what people are talking about when they are marked on the bottom. You see the writing on the bottom here. Um, let me see if I can see what it says. It gives me a number. It's a 644C. It have a year on this one. Um, but the face is also another indicator um, that it might be a little bit older, the, the shape of the eyes and the face. And so I did pick this up, and it has one of those thin little cord handles. So I couldn't believe I almost missed that, y'all. All right, um, back inside. I think that might be everything that I got outside. I got this baby because why not? She is darling with her little dress on. Love her little sweet face. Her arms do move. Her legs do move. And look at her little bare feet. They're so fat. I love them. Um, she is marked Hong Kong on the back right here. If you can see right there, it's marked Hong Kong. And I really like her. I feel like we could dress her up. I feel like she could be in a doodad tray or we may be able to even add her to a tiered tray on the table for decoration. I just thought she was super cute. I had to have her. Another doll that I just had to have because 
you know, I do so much with dolls, but I thought this would be great for a Veterans Day or a um, Fourth of July little tear tray. It's a little ceramic doll. Now, I haven't looked that closely at it. It has the top, but then it has the cloth body, um, and then it has the ceramic arms and the ceramic little boots. I do not see any type of marking on the neck but his face is too cute. I just loved all the littles. I was passing all of this stuff by because I was so fixated on the little things. Do y'all ever do that when you go? Or do you mainly look for the big things? I always pass the big things up. I don't even see them. As a matter of fact, I was editing and saw this beautiful, I don't know, maybe you saw it, beautiful Santa cookie jar. Never saw that until I was editing the video. I have no right. idea. Another thing that I got, just because I thought it was cute, this is marked 1993 on the back right here, but you know, it reminded me of Dolores. It's a little nightlight with cats. Now this was marked $2. It is a mama and a baby cat. I thought that was super cute. So I will get with Dolores and I'll see if she wants this one. I do need to make sure that it works, but if it is the light bulb, I have some light bulbs. So see y'all, I get all the little stuff. I did feature the next two items on Instagram on, at the day of the sale because I went to the sale a couple of weeks ago and yes, I'm just getting around to getting this up and scheduled for you. Um, but I, I should have gotten more of these. She had a whole bunch of these unopened cruel and cross stitch pieces and these kits. Now these are absolutely not open. They're brand new old stock. I know that we have a lot of people who enjoy um, needlework and we also have people who enjoy the owl in um, our vintage community here online. But I do think that these will be good sellers at my shop and in shows um, in the fall. Another one that I got, which I would love for somebody to do and then give me the pillow. So if anybody wants to do that that'd be great look how pretty that is oh, isn't that beautiful but y'all she had so many of these and I guess I got in a hurry and I didn't pick them up I think that these are easy quick sellers where you just put them in a poly mailer and they would be quick sellers or you put a whole bunch of them in the basket in your booth and they would be quick sellers as well now this one did originally come from Target but look at the price tag Price tag is a little old and nothing in Target is $3.67. Let me just say that. All right, let's see what else I got. I got a whole bunch of these and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to be real honest. Other than they will make great little pops of color when I'm staging things, either at a show or when I'm staging them in my booth. Um, I got these little trivets, these little made trivet things, these little yarn trivets. So I got this one for fall and this one possibly for summer. But you know, when you're putting things on there, I mean, I don't even know what to put on there, but if you're putting things on there, you know, it just gives a little bit of pop of color. Um, for the 4th of July patriotic, I got this one. I got this one. I really went all out with these. I got this one. And I got this one. Now, I think they're hot pads. I think they're little trivets, but you tell me. Um, she had a whole bunch, as you saw in the video. And I mean, I may lot them, you know, two or four or choice of two. I love these colors. I thought that was cool. And this one, I think that's cool. But look, look how pretty that would be. That would be really great. Um, I also picked up, I don't know why, but I picked up some pink ones because maybe a unicorn would look good on here. Hey, maybe this girl would look good on there, like the little pig. But I also got this one. I did not see anyone purple. I think I like her better with the bright. Yeah, that's super cute. So yeah, again, I got these two and I got these two. I think in total I got 12. So I think that was like six dollars right there. Um, I don't know why. I just thought they were really cool so I ran with it y'all. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't be the only one. Okay, I did see this in their preview and was kind of hoping that it was still there when I got there. I really, really, really liked it. It is the Poodle Planter. The Poodle Planter. The Poodle Planter is where it's at. Look, now I think they had a little bow or something which I can absolutely do. Look at this face. Now, I did not see any chips or cracks, it, a few spider webs, but it's okay. I can clean that up. Now, this was originally, look at the little poodle tail. This was originally $12, and so it would have been $6, and it is marked, sign original by Obrody Japan. This is what it says at the bottom there, sign original Brody by Japan, and it is numbered. I have not looked at a comp for this. I got this for the kitsch. I really, really liked this. Um, I was even thinking of, you know, making it like a pin cushion. Um, that would be super fun, but any anything you can put in this would be super fun because this face is where it's at. All right, let's see what else. So hang tight, we've got a lot more to do. I did pick this one up. Of course, when I saw it, it made me think of Tammy at Uprising Texas. This is a um, pillow sham. Now they only had one um, and I thought it was really cute. It's a quilted pillow sham. But I think on a single bed, like I have a single bed in here in the spare room, and I think that would be cute with a little, I actually have a yellow, um, like a smaller lap blanket that's yellow and white um, afghan, and I this on a, as a pillow, and the afghan on the foot of the bed, I think that would be cute. All right, I did pick up this. This is a handmade sand art piece. Um, and I showed this in the video. It is in excellent, excellent condition. It was made by Mary Lou Peschlowski um, in New Mexico, right here. And it says, Navajo Indian Girl. Sand painting is done with natural ground earth sands. So I don't know how she did this, but look at the detail in there. So it's natural ground earth sands. That is beautiful. I picked this up as well. All right, the other thing that, I mean, these sell really well for me. So I picked them up for 50% off day. They were $3 originally, they would be $1.50. I think I got seven. <laughs> Why buy one when you can buy seven? Um, but these sell well for me in my booth and even at live sales. That is the Christmas uh, with Southern Living, the dated or the year books. This one is a 1982. I wanna to say to you, if you are watching this video and you're interested in anything that I'm showing today, you are free to shop my haul. You send me an email right here, scprincess1 at comcast.net. I will let you know if I have processed it, meaning I have it in my inventory yet, and if it is still available. And if it is, I can let you know what a price would be. Um, I also have the 1983, so I've got 82 and 83 and this I think would be beautiful in the kitchen um, with some vintage baking things you know I have that corner um, I have another book already these have the jackets these two have the jackets with them um, so I'm gonna need to comp those I have sold this one three times this is the 1987 um, this is the 1985 I think I sold this one as well I'm not sure, I think I sold this one. I know I've had it, so I either sent it to someone, um, maybe Christine at Side Street Market, I know she was uh, collecting the year, I'm not sure. Um, I've never had this one. Now this one is the 1989. Fun fact, I graduated high school in 1989. Yes, I did. These have never even been um, looked at. And you know how I know? They're still crunchy when you open them. The, the spine is not even um, opened. But the poinsettias are beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Um, I got a 1988, which I have not had this one either. And the, these are brand new. These shiny ones are brand new because the spine, I can tell. Not even looked at. Now, this is the 86, and I love the color of this one. Look at the holly and berry in that. 
and it does not appear that this one has been used either or even looked at. Now, remember, with these books, it's not just recipes, but it's home decor, it's recipes, it's craft projects. And in the back of these, you get all the patterns for all the projects. So this is an overall great holiday book. It's also great if for an anniversary gift, if they got married in 1986 or something like that. So I'll be comping these quickly and getting them priced because even not at Christmas time, these sell very, very well. Okay, y'all, we're almost at the end. I told you I got a lot of stuff. So again, I wanna know from you if everything I purchased at this estate sale for $50 was worth it. Um, so I got another new old stock and look at that baby, the Christmas elf. Now, if I could cross stitch, I would make this, but I can just tell you I can't sew on a button. So let me see if this has a date on it. This is 1983. But look how cute that is. That is stinking cute. And that's new old stock. Okay, weird stuff that I pick up. <laughs> Weird stuff. Did anybody else use these, have these, or anything, y'all? I mean, now we use them for like pet, you know, like to put the pet dishes on. These were the best. These were the best, but I've got some better ones. So I did pick up two. There were more, but they weren't in pristine condition. These are in pristine condition, and look how big they are. I love the colors um, for, and there's just a two-topper. I have like a two-top bistro set in the kitchen. What a wonderful pop of color to add for these. Um, not that we sit there and eat, but it will be pretty. Um, but these, y'all, I remember these. The avocado green plastic. And you know what I remember about them? They stick together. <laughs> they are always so sticky no matter how much you clean them. So I did pick up three of these. I am going to wash everything. But does anybody else remember these? Because... I do. Um, these remind me of Tammy's colors too. Tammy at Vintage Uprising Texas. This reminds me of her. Now this one, that one is a little sticky. So I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, let me show you the ephemera style stuff. And this is the last of it. But let me show you, I, I did get a good bit of this. You saw me pick this up. Of course, who doesn't love a big haired cupie? It literally looks like my hair when it's humid outside. But this is super, super cute. I love the little bluebirds. I did pick that up. Another thing that I picked up, I think there's two of these. These are 1976. Yeah, these are from Sears. And it is Winnie the Pooh waits for Santa. Um, and it is from Sears. There's a little copyright there. Now you open it like this. And it's a Christmas tree with the cutout ornaments. How cute is that? And it this is like a, um, what do you call that? Oh my gosh, what is the word? Where you take one thing out every day, like you eat a candy. Y'all, what is the word for that? I have to put it right here because I'm completely blown away. I don't remember what the word is. That's going to drive me nuts. I don't know what it is. Golly. Okay, there's some ta tags that you can cut out as well. And you open it up. Look at all of the fun activities. Advent calendar. It's called an advent calendar. I know y'all was screaming at the screen. It, it's an advent calendar. Look at all the fun activities. This is so cute. Eeyore is my favorite. Y'all, I loved this so much Advent calendar, that I got two of them, 1976. Oh, uh, you know who this reminds me of? D, Thrill of the Thrift. She loves her, some Winnie the Pooh. All right, what else I got was a, a jumbo picture coloring book, The Night Before Christmas. Now, I looked at it very carefully but I'm not sure. Here's the words and the picture to color. I'm hoping it's not colored, but look how cute that is. I love this. This is awesome. Oh, and look, it even gives you a little idea of, hey, this is what it should look like. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so, oh, look at there. 
See, this is where I get lost. I love a coloring book. Let me see what it says down here. It says printed in Hong Kong. That's what it says right there. So it doesn't have a year, but look at those little elves. But I picked this up. That was awesome sauce. Also, I picked up Santa's Village. This is a Whitman book, copyright MCMLXXV. So 1950, 60, 75. Look at me knowing the numbers. Here's a Santa's Christmas Village. And this looks like a paper doll kind of village. You see that, that you could put them together? Um, but it is in great shape. I believe it, I looked at it and nothing was used. Yeah, there's two, si this is two-sided. Oh, so there's the carolers in the back and the carolers in the front. But this is a whole little Christmas village. <gasps> Look at Santa from the back. Oh, that's awesome. And look, right down here, it tells you how to fold them. Y'all, this is, and there was so much of this. I just, I just didn't look at everything. It's a lady with a present. And so this was super cool. I just had to have that little Whitman. All right, what else? Oh, this made me think of Martha from Vintage Conversation because Martha loves her some paper dolls. Now, I'm not sure this is the kind of paper doll that she loves, but... I'm trying to see a year on this. I don't see it. It's the paper dolls in full color for Santa. It's 1983. There we go. From St. Nicholas to Santa Claus. So it gives you a little history. And then, oh, it starts way, way, way early. And these are little paper dolls. Let me see if I can go through it quickly. St. Nicholas, patron saint of children is there. These are, this is super cool. St. Nicholas in Old Germany. Y'all, this is amazing. I really like this. This is super cool. Not sure if y'all are seeing in it. Santa Claus the Night Before Christmas. These are all little paper dolls. Where's the Santa? Oh, look, it says Merry Christmas right here. It has a tree that you can put lights on and candy canes and all that jazz. And look, there's the Santa and Mrs. Claus. You better put Mrs. Claus in there. She does all the tending to the elves and all that. A patriotic Santa right here. But I picked this one up as well. And I just have four more things and we will be done. And this is a super long video. This is a Christmas coloring book. And this is 1987. Super cool Christmas coloring book. I liked that. I picked that up. I also got Santa's Big Surprise coloring book. This one is MCMLXXIX. Huh. So it's 1950, 60, 70, 80. 1980. Coloring books do well for me. Here's another one. These kind of look more like my error. It looks like 1950, 60, 76, 1976. I knew that looked familiar. Oh, look at the Rock of I Baby. And the last thing that I got to share with you from our mega estate sale haul was another Creative Child Press. And it has a copyright of 1986, 1986. And that's this one, Silent Night Christmas uh, night coloring book. So that's it, y'all. We finally made it through. So how do you think I did for $50? Leave me a comment below to let me know what was your favorite. Um, again, if you enjoy this type of content where I go thrifting um, and looking for vintage treasures at estate sales, thrift stores, antique shops, and anywhere else I can find, give it a, a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that notification bell to all. So you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video or we go live. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family. So click that subscribe button. It is free and it does help my channel grow. Grow. Thanks so much for watching y'all and until next time y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.